Guys, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. We're literally, we've just checked in to Wyndham, I try and get this right today, Wyndham Orlando International Drive Resort Hotel. I got it. <laughs> That's probably about the 10th try today. We've literally just checked in because obviously we, you, the last you would have seen we were at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We had the best time. We had pool days. We had Animal Kingdom. It was chilled and now we've checked in here and we're literally ready to go full hog roast. Was that a word? Full hog roast? No. <laughs> Bleep. Right. Full. What can we say? Full. Full. Full, full throttle. That's better. We're ready to go full throttle at Universal. Uh, do you know, I'm really bad this morning. You can half tell I didn't vlog yesterday. We're ready to go full throttle at Universal Orlando. We've got the Express Pass. We bought it. It was $100 each. <laughs> yeah, we've just checked out of Kidani Village and Nathan's kind of been like... What have you booked me? <laughs> what have you put me in? There's nothing wrong with this hotel. It's obviously more of a budget hotel, which is nothing wrong with a budget hotel. But yeah, it's it's a lot, obviously, it's a lot different to the hotel we've just been staying at. And it's lovely set off behind the cam. But anyways, <laughs> put in perspective, this hotel cost us $100 a night. No, it was, what was it? $160 a night. I think it was $160 a night, about £100, just above. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, what, you know, it's nice. It is really, really nice. I don't want to put anyone off. It's a nice hotel. It's lovely. If you, you know, kind of just, honestly, if you've not seen these vlogs before, before, obviously, me going to Disney, I would stay in hotels like this because to me, you just put your head down to sleep. But I think as I've got all down now, I want to more chill at the hotel, go in the pools and stuff. But uh, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with this hotel. It's, it's nice. Anyways, guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. We are now going to be heading to Universal Studios, where it all began for me. Like Universal Studios is like where I fell in love with Florida. So it was the first park ever visited. Didn't know anything about Orlando, Disney, Universal, nothing. Showed up to uh, Universal Studios and that was it for me. It sold it, you know. Here I am now, literally coming back year after year because I absolutely just love it. And it's going to be so ideal today because we've got the Express Pass. So it means that we can get on everything, we can pretty much run around, do everything, see everything. And we don't have to, you know, spend all that time. You know what I mean? So I'm very, very excited. And this is going to be so exciting for Nathan today as well because his favourite movies are the Harry Potter series and he loves Jurassic Park. He's got the Jurassic Park lanyard on. And uh, and then, yeah, we're going to be going on all the new rides today. We've got, obviously, Hagrid's motorcade ride and then we've got Velociraptor, which me and Nathan are probably going to be very screamish on. So you've got all that to look forward to. <laughs> Bearing in mind, me and Nathan don't do rides. <laughs> so, so, yeah, well, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bit of a hack as well, guys, just a quick one. Now, I think I've mentioned this before on a few videos, but when I'm going to Universal, I never ever go to Universal Entrance. The reason being is if you go to the Universal Entrance where the usual Uber would drop you off, sometimes security can be awful there, can be so busy, it can be queued. I I've been in queues sometimes there for half an hour waiting to get through, and especially at the moment because of short of staff staffing. So what I usually do is I'll go to Lowe's Rock Pacific and then walk from there. First of all, the walk's quicker, and I feel like it's a lot nicer, it's a nicer entrance. Obviously you don't get that big grand entrance of going into City Walk with the music and things. But to be honest, it depends on what you prefer. I kinda, you are sorry? Driver's cancelled. Oh, oh, the driver's cancelled. So Nathan's just literally ordering an Uber as we speak. Wonder why cancelled? Did it say why? There's another one this way. Oh, there's another one coming, oh that's good. So yeah, that's what I do. I go to Lowe's Robbie Civic and I just walk in. I find, it, I find it a lot easier, but I am so excited. We've got express passes again, like I've said. So it's just gonna be so ideal today, getting on all the rides. That, that was the main thing. We've got, we've got two days at Universal, but we're gonna go to Volcano Bay tomorrow and just chill, just have a chill day at Volcano Bay. But yeah, it's just gonna be nice because we can get on all the rides. We'll, we'll be able to go on everything today because we're just gonna basically run around eat loads of food, ride loads of rides, we'll go through all the rides with you guys, tell you what they're like, if they're good or they're not, what Nathan thinks, what I think, you already know kind of what I think, but what actually Nathan thinks of them, and uh, and yeah, it's going to be a good day. I've just said to Nathan there, I should be vlogging this, obviously what I've just said, so there's the entrance to Lowe's Royal Pacific, and we got dropped off, the, dropped off at the entrance, and then all we've done is took the road down, left, and now we're just walking down this path, and the first thing Nathan said is, this is gorgeous. And it is, it's, it's really nice, and, and I honestly believe, like, this is such 
I, I, don't get us wrong, I don't know if you're meant to go this way. I don't know if it's like, you know, you shouldn't be going this way. Let me know in the comments. I've never been told otherwise. I do this quite often, so... And obviously it's not just the entrance for Lowe's. Obviously you can come from this entrance from Aventura. You can use this entrance for Sapphire Falls. So it's not just obviously Lowe's Royal Pacific guests that obviously use this. And obviously if you are a Lowe's Royal Pacific guest, you actually get the free uh, cruise, which takes you down this lake, which is absolutely... Oh, Piara comes now. Perfect timing. And this obviously takes you to the entrance, which is gorgeous. I did this with Con a few years back, and it's just such a lovely way of coming into the park. I said to Nathan I would have loved, have loved us to stay at Lowe's Royal Pacific this trip. However, the costings just didn't really didn't really reach. And sometimes you get a wave from people. Oh, there we go. We've got a couple of waves. So, so yeah. So it is, like I say, it's a lovely way of coming into Universal. So yes, just as usual, we've literally just went through the side entrance. Now, as you'll see, all of these people coming in right now would have came through the main gates, and this is what you'll be standing behind trying to get in. It's the reason why I always go through from Lowe's, so highly recommend it. Oh, and we're here. Absolutely love it. Oh, the Universal Bowl. We're just gonna stop for a second and we'll get a couple of selfies. You've gotta do it. I always recommend, actually, if you want pictures that are quiet, get them from down here. No one ever comes down here. And it's always ideal. We're in, we're all sorted. Oh, it is so good being in Universal Studios. So funny, Nathan was just like, what's that ride? I was like, well, that's one of the rides we're gonna be doing today. <laughs> We've got the Express, we'd be silly not to do it. Just said to Nathan, honestly, it's so, like, we're literally already seeing queue times 40, 50, 60 minutes at the entrance. Nathan, literally, the words he said is, worth it, worth it for the Express Pass. Yeah. The difference with Disney to Universal's Express Pass is, Universal, you can ride everything. There's no, like, genie, there's no slot times, you just ride what you want, when you want. Go, 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 go. So that is our plan today. Now, I think my first ride is going to be Transformers. Oh, just a quick one, actually. We paid for Express Pass online. However, I don't know what I did wrong. I thought I did it right. When we came here, she went, oh, just to let you know, you've only got Express Pass for one park. Do you want two for 10 pounds? And obviously it's only 10 pounds, or well, $10. I was like, okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a, uh, what's his name? Bumblebee? Is that Bumblebee? It is Bumblebee, isn't it? Do you want a picture with him? No, okay. Oh, I can smell like Chinese food. It smells, it smells lovely. But yeah, oh. <laughs> but yeah, so. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, both, we both had to pay $10 each to upgrade, which, which is fine. But I can't believe I got it wrong. Honestly, I thought I'd done everything right, guys. I can't believe it. So yeah, so this is going to be our first ride of the day, guys, which is Transformers. With a lot of these rides, you can't fill them on. Some rides you can, some kinds you can't. But what I will be doing is after each ride, me and Nathan will talk about the pros and cons, if he liked it, if he didn't. Obviously, you guys know most of how I feel with these rides. But obviously, we'll get Nathan's reaction. So let's go. <laughs> I always love that. So cool. You can ride with D-Bag anytime. Right, just got off Transformers. Obviously, I tried to film a little bit. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it was good. Um, you can tell the difference between Disney and Universal, though. Yeah. Like, in the, the graphics and stuff. It is good. It's really good. What do you mean by graphics? Like, it's not as good like, here or better? it's not as good here. As right. Well. Yeah. Disney. Right, it's, we're walking it's very, out. It's very much like the Star Wars one, that. Yeah, yeah. So what I find with Universal is they rely so heavily on screens in this park. Obviously the other park's different, but in this park so many of the rides are so heavily reliant on screens and I really hope, for, uh, for me, I'm not a big fan of the screens. There's about four coasters here and then the rest are all screen heavy. So it's nice, you know, like we're gonna go on The Mummy next and then we're gonna go on Rip Rock and it's nice to actually be on rides that aren't relying on it. But again, I love Transformers. If you suffer with motion sickness, it can be very sickly. That's all I'm gonna say. But it's a good ride. But like Nathan says, you can see the quality difference between Universal and Disney. I still love Universal alone. Like I say, Universal is one of my favorite parts. Are you ready for something new to this channel? We are finally gonna conquer my biggest fear, which is this. Hollywood, where is it? Rip, there it is. There it is, Hollywood Rip Rocket. <laughs> and, <laughs> God, even just looking at it, <laughs> terrifies the life out of me. And I must say, my Nathan's uh, definitely uh, could do, yeah. Fan. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look like he's the biggest fan. But you know what? What's the worst that could happen? See, it'll be fine, you know. You've gotten holiday insurance, haven't you? <laughs> Actually, 
just in cover on rides. It <laughs> actually says that in the small print here. Yeah. I can't believe I'm doing this. My nerves is starting to kick in. Anxiety's kicking in. All the things that should be kicking in are kicking in. But we're gonna do it. It's this trip is we've said this before. This trip is about trying things new, and now I'm gonna say this trip's all about conquering fears. And uh, we're gonna conquer a big one today. I think it's a 200 foot fear. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> oh, never again? <laughs> oh no. Mate, that climb. That climb, honestly, was... is so intense. Okay. It's the glorious vibe. It's. <laughs> Bleep! <laughs> that climb is so intense honestly and we watched the video back and do you know i would have paid for it but i just know no, no. definitely yeah. on a salad today <laughs> opening my eyes at the top was yeah the biggest mistake my biggest recommendation is don't open your eyes <laughs> just don't open your eyes for about the first 30 seconds right, keep your eyes After closed you over the initial climb it's all right yeah because it's kind of <laughs> near to the ground feel dead like flustered now and all over the place, I just feel a bit like, oh, honestly, that was just intense. It really was just intense. Would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're in a massive thrill, thrill seeker, that is definitely by far the most brutal coaster I have ever stepped foot on. They have corn dogs here. Right, I'm sorted. Corn dog and a pina colada. That's my day. And now I know some of you are thinking, a corn dog, really? That, that's not very healthy, Dan. And I know they're not very healthy. But you can't come to the States and not get one. They're literally, and they're not in the UK. So anyone that's watching from the US probably thinking, oh, well, you just get one at home. They're not in the UK. For anyone that's not had one, imagine a sausage, but with a, a nice soft outer layer with, with sweet corn. It's basically it's corn. Mm. It's so nice, so sweet, very nice. And I know it's not very healthy, but hey ho, we're in Florida. And this is it. Hopefully, it won't be too busy. I can hear the music already. And you've got the bus there. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to be as busy as what it was the other day. Fingers crossed, guys. Everyone, everyone keep your toes and fingers crossed for a quiet day. Oh, do you know, it's actually not that bad. Right, let me put it in perspective. On Thanksgiving weekend, there was no space at all. It was like Magic Kingdom fireworks. This is actually lush. It's actually all right. Look, in behind, there's not as many people. It's absolutely fine, this. We've got the leaky cauldron that we'll eat in soon. But this is really, really nice. Nathan is currently just in the sweet shop, basically picking some stuff up. But we have more snacks to try. So I know as my face is just getting rounder and rounder as this trip comes on. Firstly, I got the pumpkin pastry again. You might remember from like the vlogs a while back. And then I got this. It is the cookie dough. I don't know how well you can see that on cam. Oh, you can see it just very well. It looks absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> I just dropped it on the table. Right, so let's give this a go. It's good, but it's sickly. It's Aye. very sickly, isn't it? Very much so. <laughs> That's definitely one that you could put away for later. Nah. You're gonna eat it all now? And then I got the pumpkin pastry. Sorry if you can just, oh my God. Things are flying. Mm. Honestly, this is the best. And Nathan actually has one of the chocolate frogs. Oh, oh wow. That, this is actually saying that it serves five people. Nah, it serves one of me. Be, be very interested to see what he thinks of it. I don't even know how to tackle this. It's nice, mate. What does it actually taste like? Obviously it's chocolate, but... It's like a Cadbury's Nestle baby crossover. It's laughing at the card he's got. He's saying like, what a really rubbish card to get. That's the card he got. So who is that? I've never even seen him before. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> 
I look awful with this light. The lighting's awful today. What's going on? Nathan was saying the chocolate is really solid. How are you finding getting through it? One need new teeth. <laughs> We're now waiting in the queue for butterbeer and honestly, anyone right so the options are actually i can actually see all the options now i always get the frozen butter beer i wouldn't try anything else but you can get the normal butter beer you've got the frozen butter beer hot butter beer tongue tight tongue tizzling lemon squash other fizzy orange juice fish green ale oh god doesn't sound good we've got peach tree fizzling tea pumpkin juice oh pumpkin juice sounds all right and gilly water yeah the, honestly, the only thing I recommend from this, honestly, is the frozen butter beer. I'm telling you, honestly, it's it's so nice. And if you've had, if you've tried butter beer from the UK and you got the normal butter beer, I promise you, it tastes nothing like the frozen beer, frozen butter beer here in the states. It just tastes so much nicer as a slush rather than rather than just a normal butter beer. Right, Nathan has got the butter beer. Now I've been building this up to him for about 12 weeks. Reaction. Is it so sweet? It is very sweet. Don't get us wrong. If anyone's on a health kick or you know worried about calorie counting, I would avoid it <laughs> because it is calorific. But I keep saying, and if and you're only in Florida once, couldn't tell you what it is that I like about it. I think it's just the whole thing in general. It's just nice. But there's a nice white creamy texture on the top. The obviously the centre that obviously Nathan was saying before is it butter? I, th I don't know if there's actually is butter in it. I don't really, I haven't really looked at the ingredients. Can you taste butter? I don't even know what it tastes after you've It's it, a lot of people online have said to me it tastes a lot like cream soda, not cream, uh, cream. You know what I'm talking about what we have in the UK. Cream soda. But it is cream soda, isn't it? It literally tastes like cream soda, but just better. <laughs> That's literally. It is so good, mind. It is really good, and honestly. I really wasn't keen on the butter beer at first. I actually tried the the warm butter beer. Oh, honestly, I, I, me and Con chucked it. We literally were so because everyone online was like, "Get the butter beer, get the butter beer." So I was thinking like, "Okay, then that's fine, I'll get it." And then I had it, and I was like, "Well, I don't know what the whole drama's about." But yeah, the frozen one, I get it now. <laughs> frozen zone's unreal. Also as well, just a quick one, if you wanna just chill and avoid crowds, and you just want to like get out of the sun, I highly recommend this part of Diagon Alley. It's right at the back, you can't miss it. As soon as you come through the entrance through down there, it's right at the back. And obviously, you've got like this section here, and it's nice. This is actually quite busy with people, usually it's not like this. And uh, and yeah, and I sat yeah the other day for about an hour on the phone to Liam, just chilling. Honestly, I highly recommend if you just want to get out the sun, chill, have a snack. This is where I'd recommend sitting. It is really nice here. Currently two o'clock now, so I just said to Nathan, we should probably make a move and head to the Leaky Cauldron. We finished our butter beers as well. And do you know Nathan actually Googled this? It said 200 calories. Now I've always assumed. Well, in fact, I didn't assume. I read online that there were like a thousand calories. Oh, that lady's got a salad over there. See, that's being healthy. I don't know. <laughs> Nathan just said that's what we need. I am feeling it now. After being here now for two weeks, I'm feeling like I'm popping out left, right, and centre. <laughs> right, I'll hang on. I better rephrase that because uh, you know what I mean. I feel like my hips are popping out, and yeah, I feel <laughs> I feel like the rides and tops are getting a very. Especially when you're here, it remind, you remind yourself actually that you might need to slow down. But yes, yeah, so anyway, let's head to the Leaky Cauldron. Okay, so we're just queuing up for food in the Leaky Cauldron. And queuing has been crazy today. It's been so busy. I'll quickly show you the menu because I don't think I've shown you the menu in here before. So you've got fish and chips, Pullman's, bangers and mash, toad in the hole, beef lamb, cottage pie, fisherman's pie, mini pie combination, soup and salad, kids meals, desserts, <gasps> sticky toffee pudding. Oof, no. Need to stay away from that, but yeah, that's the menu for food-wise anyway. What do you think of the uh, the salad? Because Nathan was saying before he's just desperate for veg. How are you finding it? Yeah, nice. Nice, yeah. The um, the toad in the hole here, guys. Honestly, it's really, really nice. It is so good. It's nice tomato as well. It's nice. That's the thing. If you're looking for something a bit lighter, it's quite nice because you get a lot of veg, a lot of peas. Oh, we've literally had the best time in Diagon Alley. Obviously, we went for food. We were, do you know, actually, a quick one. We actually went on Escape from Gringotts, but I didn't vlog it, which I'm a bit gutted about because I didn't get 
shots of inside, you know, like inside Gringotts Bank. But you guys have seen me vlog in there before. And if you haven't and you're new here, just go back on previous series. But um, I said to Nathan, should we go in? And I thought to myself, well, I'm only going to be going in to vlog it. I'm not actually going to be going in to enjoy the ride. So we're not actually going to go in. But we are going to go and hit the Hogwarts Express now. So it's really exciting. Hopefully, because we've got Express, we should get across very, very quickly. It'll be actually really interesting to see how busy King's Cross actually is. Usually they'll have the wait time. I reckon it'll be, it's currently 40 minutes. 40 minutes, well, yeah, actually, that's a long time for this, actually, to be honest. 40 minutes. Bearing in mind, you can just walk over at the other park. So, because uh, we're Express, hopefully it should be straight in for us. Wow, I've not noticed that before. I've not noticed the times to change before. That's totally... Oh my god, actually, them times are changing based on real times. I've not noticed that before. Hi, are you okay? I need your park to park. Today. Oh yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Express. Express. Oh, okay, brilliant, thank you. You can actually see as well, this is where the queue kicks off. They've actually got a Christmas tree over there as well, which is awesome. And this is the start of the express line. And I wonder where we join. Does that mean we join there? Oh, and this is it. Look at that. Oh, and it's in at the perfect time. Oh. See, this is where it becomes worth coming on the Hogwarts Express. Just visually incredible. It looks absolutely stunning. The way they made the room, it's incredible. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm excited to get on it. Guys, just off the Hogwarts Express, and now we are in Hogsmeade. I am so happy to be in here. It's just so, so awesome. I love Hogsmeade. How gorgeous is that? You can see, obviously, all of Hogsmeade, and then you can see Hogwarts in the distance. Do you know, honestly, I think every time I come in here, I actually fall in love with this bit more than I fall in love with Diagon Alley. I just find this bit so busy because of the new ride. Oh, Universal staff are so awesome. So we basically, so at the moment, the Hagrid ride, the motorcade, is currently, currently they're not accepting people are waiting queues. You have to basically do a QR code and it's a virtual line. And bless the bloke who we came up to, the gentleman, bloke, gentleman. We, uh, we were speaking to him and he was like, are you from England? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, let me let me do something. Because basically we're saying that it was temporary unavailable. And uh, he's basically give us free virtual line, like fast pass to go straight on right now. Bless him, he didn't have to. So we're going straight on. I was quite, I was quite Nathan's at the toilet, so I'm just gonna try and keep my eyes off for Nathan. Just a quick one, if you ever come here and the virtual line A is on, this is what you're gonna be looking at really. You're gonna be looking at a lot of people crowding it, a lot of people asking questions. We even found it difficult just to get the QR code you know to get there there's a lot of people hanging around a lot of people asking a lot of questions obviously a lot of people come to this park to ride this ride a lot of people really want to get on this ride so I can understand why I probably have done the same I will say my best well my favorite ride currently as it stands in the whole of Universal Studios I think it's incredible how it's gonna work is Nathan will do the Harry seat and then I'll obviously sit on Hagrid's seat the reason being it's because uh, it's because I'll struggle <laughs> to sit. I tell you, I just hope Nathan doesn't have to go through what I went through two years ago. Because uh, well, there's a test I see over there. Everyone has test it. So basically how it works on this ride. There's a bigger seat, which is the, the bike, and then there's the smaller seat. If you are, obviously, if you are, if you want the bike, that's a lot more, what's the word, weight friendly, in a sense, so you can, I was, for example, I was one click away from being too big for the smaller ride, and I vowed that that would be the start of my weight loss journey. And I'm gonna be honest, I have lost a lot of weight, but since I've came out of Florida, I've obviously put a lot on. Yeah, there's no way I'm fitting in that small seat, I'm telling you. After what I've eaten today alone, never mind anything else, I'm definitely not getting in that seat. So Nathan's gonna sit in the small one, I'll sit in the big one, and then if, if like, Nathan really wants to experience the, the bike seat, then obviously we'll have to go on it again, but we'll probably have to do single rather than together, because, yeah. There's no way 
it's just it's just not going to happen for me to get in that smaller seat. It actually seems as well that they've now got two locker sections. So I remember when I first came here in 2019 with Stevie, there was only this section over here that had lockers. But now there seems to be lockers over there. So I don't know which one we'll go to. Obviously, we scan our QR code as we enter. Do you know, actually, I know some of you are going to be asking me probably later on or maybe you know or maybe it's just won't ask me but i honestly think virtual lines are a good thing for crowd management i just think it's what what makes it very difficult is when you aren't aware that it's a virtual line and then you miss out i can just see a lot of these people will be so upset because they're probably not going to get on this ride today but they might not have even been aware that it was a virtual line. The way I would definitely make sure you can check, guys, is by going on the app, which is open up to virtual lines, and then this is what you want to be looking at. And you can see there's not just this, there's Revenge of the Mummy. I don't know why Revenge of the Mummy would have a virtual line. It was so quiet today. But it does, and it's actually saying the virtual line's unavailable for that. But you can see now, our, obviously, ours in a QR code's there, so we've, we're literally ready to go on now. I am not going to lie, guys. I am blown away by this. Because of the virtual line it's pretty much walk on we have literally just been walking we're coming up to the right in five minutes well not in five minutes it's crazy good i actually can't believe where we are we are literally about five minutes from getting on the ride and that was all because of virtual line i'm gonna be honest i said to nathan I, honestly right i know why a lot of people prefer queuing because i mean at least it guarantees them on the ride but I honestly think virtual lines might be the future for especially busy theme parks like Disney and Universal. I honestly think it could be the future. But anyways, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I'm going to do this right. And then one of the things I really want to chat to yous about is about the Express Pass. One of the things that I've not mentioned yet is do I feel Express Pass has been worth it? Me and Nathan will discuss this later on tonight about do we find Express Pass? What was it like? Was it as good as Disney's Genie Plus? Or was it better or was it worse? And did we find it worth the money? Did we find it worth $100 each? We'll chat about that as well. But anyway, we're going to go on this ride and we'll see you when we get off. We've literally just got off Hagrid. How good is this? Oh, it's sick. It's, don't it, risk taking your phone. Oh, yeah, don't do without a zip on. Yeah, don't do what Nathan did because he, he took his phone on and then as we got on the ride, I was like, oh, Nathan, you do have zips in your, your shorts. He was like, no, I don't. I was like, anyway, it was fine. It was fine. His shorts were safe, but honestly, just go on that ride. I don't want to ruin it for anyone, just go on it. It's all I'm going to say. I'm going to be honest, I love this part of the theme park, but I always just feel like, I don't know, one of the first things Nathan's just said there is Fantastic Four, that's quite old. And I do feel like, oh, something's making a noise. Oh, that's Hulk. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> that is Hulk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like this part of the park is very, I don't know, this is... One of the things, this is one of Con's favourite parts of the park. In fact, he loves Spider-Man. It's very nostalgic for him. When, he's, uh, when his family used to own a house out here, they would come to, to, to Universal to go on that ride quite a bit. I think it came out in 98 or maybe early 2000. Obviously, you know, that's when, that's when we were kids. So, so yeah, it was... Uh, it was on, it was, it's actually still one of Con's favourite rides here in Universal, he loves it. And Nathan absolutely loves Spider-Man, so let's see what the queue length is, 40 minutes. Is this thing on? Listen, Scoop, crime reports are coming in from all over the city and I'm starting to get worried. No, with Spider-Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. the vehicle. Make sure... Oh, just said to Nathan, the more I go on them type of rides, the more I hate them. Oh, oh, it's on. Well, literally, we just got off Spider-Man and we feel ill. Like, I don't know about Nathan, I just... As soon as you put them glasses on, it's like, oh, really? I don't know. Not No. Fit. Mate, we're really bad with motion sickness. Velocicoaster's back on. We, it's been down all day. And I suppose this is it. This is... Could be the last ever message you hear from me <laughs> oh I could come off this and I could have conquered my fear if well to be honest I've already conquered my fear of going on upside down rides but this is a different level of fear and I'm quite happy to admit that me and Nathan are both very nervous about this we're both we're both looking at each other like why are we doing this <laughs> there's no one here telling us we need to do it but I feel like we both know that we should do it it's like one of them things of if we didn't do it, we'd probably feel like that we hadn't, I wouldn't say hadn't achieved something because that's a bit over the top. But you know what I mean? It's like, 
It's like something you must... Oh no, I think I'm gonna hang on. Hang on. <laughs> um... <laughs> right. <laughs> the more I actually watch this ride, I was just sitting in here from there, the more I look at this drop. Oh, the more I see that, the more it actually terrifies us. <laughs> oh, we'll be fine though. I know everything's gonna be all good. It's all gonna be fine. I said to Nathan before, I'm relying on him to keep me going through this. Yeah, this is uh, making me a little bit more uneasy. And I love Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. But this is, um, yeah, this is really making me feel a bit uneasy. I'm not gonna, oh my God. Oh, wow. Theming is out of this world, to be honest. Wow. There's such an ambience when you're in here. It really feels terrifying. Oh, also this is the names. You've got Blue, Echo, Delta, Charlie. Oh, that raptor looks so real. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Folks, please fill in all available wow. space. Wait, right, this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you because you're going in a locker. Unfortunately, sorry guys, no medical medi metal on the right. Oh, we're well, just off Jurassic Coaster. I actually, wait, I'm gonna be honest, I nearly bottled it and it's thanks to Nathan we ended up, I ended up doing it because it got too much. It literally got too much. I was like, no. And then the, a lovely couple, well, a lovely family behind us, like, kept pushing us on. And then it got to the point where we were ready to get on. And we seen a little kid, and we thought, well, if a little kid can get on, then then we can do it. It was. Oh, it's not as bad as what. I'm not even going to say that. Well, it, it's as bad as what you think it is, but it's so much better. Yeah. There's a lot of times where you feel like you're going to come out the seat. <laughs> Nathan said something really funny before, say it again. It's like, we. You're upside down for what seems like 76 years and like you lift while well, I lifted it off my seat It would have been like this much and I was just like oh, let's wrap my feet under the seat Just to keep myself down a little bit more <laughs> I said to him that's not gonna keep you in that seat If I don't, but let's even say them words <laughs> um, <laughs> Final uh, uh, Oh my god, <laughs> we, I literally said to Nathan before I went on I was like there's a very famous movie and I went right I'm not gonna I'm gonna end it there <laughs> But honestly, get on it. It is good. It is very intense. It is very. It is brutal. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is brutal. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna head to Hard Rock. Hopefully, as long as we can get a reservation. So let's head out the park. Get a re get a reservation. Hopefully for Hard Rock. We'll probably have to wait for an hour for a reservation. <laughs> Just when you're hungry. Saying that, we think we're hungry. But <laughs> There's no way we can be hungry after the amount of the men just in the past week. <laughs> right, let's get the hard rock. We're currently sitting in hard rock now. We're at the bar. I'll show you. It's an awesome view. It's so nice. Obviously, the car spins around. And then we've got a barman here who's going to serve us our drinks. It's all, it's all good. Oh, and look, it's arrived. We've all had cookies and cream as our drink just before our meal comes because we're both starving. And oh. This looks out of this world. Like, so Nathan's giving us the look to say it's re brilliant. Let's give it a go. I definitely needed the sugar. I know it's so bad having cookies and cream for your starter, but actually your pre-drinks. But you only live once. Cheers. Guys, starter has arrived and me and Nathan have actually just went for the sharer and uh, nachos to start. And then we've got burgers. Well, Nathan's got macaroni and cheese, and I've got a burger coming. Impossible burger, actually, so I'll show you when it comes. But it looks very, very good. Absolutely love nachos. And we've got little chicken pieces as well. Mm. Which is absolutely awesome. A quick one, though. Well, to the left of me, it's kicking off. Pretty much because. <laughs> you know me, I get the content. <laughs> no. No, it's because I short staff. You can, uh, me and Nathan both said today, we've noticed two things. The customer service and Universal compared to Disney, and the shortage of staff. Really, really noticed it. And it's even like in here, I said to Nathan, wouldn't you think that if they're so short of staff, they would just stop it? But this family behind me is waiting an hour for food. An hour for food. And it's, it's all been kicking off. And, I, and to be honest, I don't blame them because they, they've waited for such a long time and I think it's like a birthday or something. 
So it's such a shame. It is such a shame. Like, I think me and Nathan are so polite. We've waited half an hour for these nachos. We're just so polite where I would never complain because I know that I rushed up that feet. But I can understand why people would complain. You know, let me know in the comments with you. It is a shame. I do feel sorry. I do feel sorry for the family obviously behind because I say special event or something. But yeah, we're noticing massively the shortage of staff. I didn't think I would ever see it, but we have, we have noticed it. And mains have come, Nathan's got the mac and cheese, which looks unreal. And then I've went for the impossible burger, which I'm so excited for. This just looks out of this world. And we've kind of ate all the nachos, kind of, there's still a bit left. Now for anyone that doesn't know, the impossible burger is 0% meat. So, you know, at least I'm not having any meat. Now this onion ring, I couldn't touch. Well, I'll try and take it off, it's pretty much cheesed to the burger. But yeah, it's 0% it's, it's fat. And I've had it before, uh, Burger King over here do it, and it's lovely. I'll do a taste test, see what I think about it. Moment of truth, one-handed, eating an impossible burger. You really can tell. It's 0% meat, but it feels so light. I actually don't feel bad eating this, as much as all the cheese on it. Look at that, oh, it's so good. I highly recommend it. Like, if you're honestly thinking about trying to cut down your meat consumption, can't recommend this enough, honestly. It's really, really nice. And I know a lot of people over here eat it. So yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Universal Studios. It was so good being back, and it was so good being there with Nathan. He absolutely, honestly, he absolutely had the best time. Honestly, Universal is one of them places. It's like, it's a must visit, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know like a lot of people will come here and they'll, they'll usually avoid places like Universal because Disney tends to be quite expensive. So they'll avoid, you know, they'll, they'll avoid Universal to try and bring the cost down. But honestly, <laughs> with Universal, it's one of them places where I, I feel like if I didn't come on vacation here and, and spent at least a day in Universal, I just feel like it wouldn't be the same trip. You know what I mean? Totally get it though, obviously, if you're, if, you're, if you're a big family and you're paying for four tickets and things, I totally understand why a lot of people would avoid Universal. But honestly, it is just out of this world. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, the new Jurassic Coaster. We'll talk about more once Nathan comes out of the bathroom. And yeah, and then obviously we need to talk about Express Pass. Because Express Pass was a was an interesting one. And then also, we need to discuss this hotel room in depth because this hotel room has been, uh, let's just put it this way, it's not been what I, what it looked like on the pictures. Right, so I've got Nathan here now. So Nathan, what was your thoughts? Just on Universal itself firstly, compared to Disney. It's a lot more young adult, adult orientated mm. kind of thing. Like, I mean, you're walking in and all you can hear is the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. Booming away. In and islands, and, yeah. Yeah, and then you see, you see Velocicoaster and whoa. And let's, and let's actually discuss Velocicoaster. So we actually did Velocicoaster as you would have seen. I, I couldn't vlog it because you're not allowed cameras on. You wouldn't be able to have cameras on, you would <laughs> lose it. Velocicoaster is absolutely terrifying, but it's amazing at the same time. Now me and Nathan don't do rides, like we're not really ride people, this is like the first time. Well we started off going on Rip Rocket in Universal. And that was it. That was God. That first drop, the climb and the drop. Oh, the drop was all right. It was the climb. Like the climb is. It's like that. it's like that. It could not be more vertical without going backwards. It actually feels like it's a bit like that, actually, because you feel like you're falling out your seat. Um, and talking about falling out your seat, Jurassic Coaster, well, Velocicoaster, is honestly, it's it's crazy because you've only got the like you've got like it's like a it's like a pullover bar that comes around your waist, so like the bar sits either side of your shoulder, it's not actually in front of your shoulder, which yeah. is what you would hope for. You've just got this thing across your, well, your waist really, isn't it's it? It's so funny as well, because everyone does the same thing when they sit on it, everyone pulls it up, like hoping it's gonna stay in place. And all I kept doing for the ride is making sure it was still there. And I was thinking to myself, God, I shouldn't even be yanking it, because like, that's probably the worst thing you should do. But that ride, it's like 0 to 70 in like a second or it's something. 2.4 seconds, I think it said. Yeah, no to 70, which is fast. That is really fast, especially when there's no windows in front of you. And all oh, right, so we've been on it twice. 
So the first time was, I honestly was going to have a panic attack. It's thanks to Nathan why I went on it because I would have been quite happy just to, to bottle it and just say no. But I actually did it. But the, so the first time was, in, was brutal. The second time was worse because all the way through, we were like kind of like, oh, we're fine. Nathan's got a watch that has his heart rate on, so he always checks his heart rate. It was so funny because the first time, it was like 120. It, <laughs> like, it jumped. It, like, I normally, to put it in perspective, my heart rate normally bounces around 55. Mm. Kind of around there. And it was one of the last corners. And I was just like, I'm fine. Honestly, <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not panicked. I'm, it's fine. I looked at my heart rate, it was 129. <laughs> Tells you all you need to know. Which really. he said that's like full blown exercise. <laughs> yeah, like I'll be, I could be doing a friggin' hit workout mm. and it wouldn't get to 129 to say something <laughs> about my workouts. Really. <laughs> the second time, we were okay. I was panicking a bit. We were both like, ooh, because we both knew what it was like and we both know that there's bits where you like feel like you're going to fall out the seat. Well, so I mean, you're upside down for. It's, it's a good it's, few seconds. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and I don't find that bit the worst. The worst bit is when it d does the loop fast and you literally feel like, honestly, you feel your legs lift. The funniest thing Nathan said to me was the way to keep himself in was to hold your legs back. And do you know, actually, it worked <laughs> because I didn't feel like I was lifting out the seat on the second time. No. But the worst thing happened right on the second time. We were like, I said to Nathan, we don't want to be front row, but I never thought of the other possibility. And being at the back. Being at the back. So literally, we were, couldn't be, we were right at the back in Nathan's face. We got in, the bloke was like, come on then, sit down. So we sat down and I, and I, t I looked at Nathan, hoping he would give us a bit of reassurance. In his face, <laughs> told the story. It was like, <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Because... I don't know why, but it feels like if someone's behind you, it doesn't feel as bad because you've got that someone's behind you, so it feels all right. Like, I know that sounds weird, but like, you're not on your own. It's like, if someone's behind you, if you go missing, they go missing as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, someone's gonna say, if you, not that it would ever come out, if you know, fall yeah. out, at least someone's like, oh, someone fell out back there, by the way. <laughs> Whereas if you're at the back and no one's there to see you, it's kind of like... And it would be us that would talk about falling out a ride. Mm -hmm. But that's what, that's our anxieties. It was really funny. Before we sat down, I said, I won't remind you of a very famous movie. <laughs> Literally, it's on when I got 129. <laughs> I know, yeah. But that's what we're like. We're, 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 oh, again. we're still an enemy. I know, yeah, yeah. If you want to go on it, don't Google it. Yeah. Don't watch the video and try not to watch what it... It's hard to because obviously you see the worst part as you're walking on it. Yeah, yeah. But if you're anxious about it, just try not to look at it. <laughs> It try not to look, worse. try not to hear the screams. <laughs> and you know the worst bit is it's a very enclosed bit where the music's like, oh, you know, like the intro of Jurassic Park. And I'm not joking at that point, that was when I was like, I can't do this. I actually can't get on this ride. And then I, and then obviously Nathan was like, come on, you can do it, you can do it. And then there was a family behind us that were like, come on, it's fine. And at that point I was like, I can't bottle it because it'd be so embarrassing. But it is, it is that bit where it, thankfully, before you go on it, there's like a funny sketch between Chris Pratt and then the other woman, I don't know what her name is. It's a funny sketch and that kept me... If that music and the colours were still going black and, and red and that, yeah. I, that would have pulled. Thankfully, so if you, so you'll know, you'll know when you get to it. There is a point where like you can hear yeah, raptors, there's raptors in a cage and they look it's stunning by the way, they look so real. You, and it's very dark and enclosed. It's not claustrophobic by any means, but it's just dark, the music, the raptors. It, you might find yourself, like, like for me, I was like, oh God, this is the worst bit. And like, and, you were saying they've got the aesthetic of it, like... Oh God, yeah. Dead on, like... They've, they've <coughs> nailed it. They've absolutely nailed it, honestly. Yeah. Get on it, honestly, it's amazing. Lastly, we want to discuss Fast Pass, Express Pass for Universal. Was it worth... Well, it actually ended up being $110 each. Yeah. Because we got the entrance and the mum was like, oh, you've only booked one park, so it's now it. For an extra $10, it reminds me of, you know, like when, when you get insurance and they say, like, well, for an extra $10, you can't add windscreen cover on. And then for an extra $4, you can add... <laughs> That's literally yeah. what it was like. And the woman, oh, God. Not to be negative here, but the woman's customer service was... That's one thing I'd noticed. The mm. difference of Disney, hello, friends, <laughs> to Universal, get on the ride. Yeah, yeah. It's... It, yeah, yeah, it's very apples and oranges. I've never noticed this before, to be honest, until spending a week on Disney and having that Disney bubble feel. And then there was one woman, the best way to explain it was when we were going on Diagon Alley and we had Express and she looked at us. She didn't even look at us in the face. She just went, 
and scanned it. There was no like, enjoy the ride, whatever. There was just like, scan it, walk on. And we'll tell you actually if the, the total counterbalance in a sec of what we did off cam yesterday. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'll go first. Express Pass to me was not worth it one little bit on the day we used it, which was Friday <coughs> the 2nd of November, I think it was, or Friday the 3rd of November. What's the date today? It's the 5th, it was Friday the 3rd of November. Eh, uh, no, December. It just was not worth it. I don't know about you, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's very part of the look, because you've gotta get it so early, mm. you don't know if it's gonna be busy or not. If it's a weekday, and it's not the holidays, that's, that's no point. Yeah. Um, if it's a weekend, absolutely. Like a Saturday, like you can tell it was busier yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So it would have been, but enough for, enough for the day that we got it because it just it wasn't busy enough. Yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely better compared to Genie Plus in the sense if you can ride what you want when you want. There's no like times. There's no like restrictions. Yeah. It's just a uh, you do what you want. Way that's the thing with Disney. You feel you've you got to keep to a timeline. You've got to mm. be like, right, we've got to be there, 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 and it's very regimented yeah whereas universal, universal the opposite. you just you you eat when get, you want yeah. get what you want the only thing i've noticed with universal law is the queue times oh god we must mention that lovely bloke and the lovely woman who we spoke to yesterday who basically universal law adopting this virtual line which i'm a big fan of to be honest but i feel like i would be a big fan of how we've been treated literally we walked up the, so we walked up the first gentleman it was sold out he was like how long are you here for? We said two weeks. He was like, I'll sort you out. He gave us virtual line. He said, just get yourself on. When you, he actually asked us, when do you want to go on the yeah, ride? he was like, when do you want to go on? We were like, as soon as possible. <laughs> and he was like, and yeah. And he was just like... Yeah. And then, yesterday, off camera, we didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday, we, we, I, said, I said to Nathan, I said, go on, we'll, we'll, we'll try our luck again. Which felt awful, because it was sold out again. We went there and she was like, it's just two years. I said, in bear in mind, people were being turned away left, right and centre. She was like, is it just the two years? I said, yeah, yeah. And she went, go on then. <laughs> we were like, oh my God. I literally said to Nathan before I got there, right, I'm ready to get on my hands and knees and practically beg these people to get us on this ride. Turns out you didn't even have to. No, no. It must be the British accent. It must be. It must be something. It must be some sort of policy. And let me know in the comments if this has happened to you. It must be some sort of policy. If you're British, you must, they must let you on. Well, they were saying... There was a woman that would, were in the hot tub jacuzzi thing the other night and there was a, um, a woman from Florida who, who was there and she was saying, oh, well, Florida residents get stays cheaper. They get park tickets mm, cheaper. Yeah, they do, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know if they say to the staff, if they're obviously tourists, you We've get- paid you a give, lot more. We've paid a lot more, you give them priority kind of thing. Yeah. Um, which, you know, great thing for us. It's a great thing for us. I do feel bad for the locals though, and, and people who have traveled from elsewhere in the States. And it might not be just, it might be the case if, if you're from Florida, you don't get that thing, I don't know. Off cam yesterday, we did Volcano Bay, and we weren't gonna do it, and I was adamant I wasn't vlogging it, guys, because it's a nightmare to vlog. It's, it's in and out pools, and the staff don't like people had to have, GoPros and things, you can't go on any of the slides with your phones or GoPros and things So I just thought I'm not gonna vlog it. I want to enjoy the day. I did obviously you'll see some footage I did vlog it. It was so quiet It was it was, it was the only people in there were like English <clears throat> and like tourists And I would say there was probably no more than maybe 500 people in that entire park I would even say 500 might be pushing it. It was literally it was so quiet. It was it was crazy and There was absolutely no waiting to get on slides or anything. No, like, literally we went up got to the top We're straight in. Yeah <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, right, we're talking about customer service, Universal, it's... We walked into Volcano Bay and it was like we were celebrities. Everyone was like, welcome! Honestly, this, the, even, even the police officer or the security officer on the corner was like, have an amazing day! It was like, it was just like, yeah. unbelievable. I, I couldn't, it felt very Disney. I, me and Nathan started discussing about maybe like Universal and Volcano Bay are two separate companies under the same umbrella of Universal. Because I just found it so crazy. Or maybe it's because they're not busy so they've got the time. Yeah. I don't know, maybe they haven't dealt with a thousand. Oh, so that you don't customers. like at Universal, you don't know what kind of day people have exactly had. like the must have. I mean, we saw people left, right, and center kicking off about X, Y, and Z. Yeah, you never know if you like someone might have just had that face screamed in and then. He has us, oh well they're not very polite. Yeah, okay, exactly. Like, you never know. Yeah. And that's the thing, the resilience of these people that work in these parks. You know, like, you've, you've got to, to have to a them. thick skin. I spoke enough about Universal in, in the staff. We had an amazing day. You loved it, didn't you? You loved the Harry Potter. I, I'm looking outside and I really want to discuss this hotel. Now, 
Now, I just want to clarify something. Before anyone says in the comments, well, you get what you pay for, this hotel costs us £326 for two nights, which how much is that? 160 something quid? 160, it'd be about 160 pound a night. Yeah. That is Disney in, in a quiet, quiet time of year. That is a Disney resort hotel stay, maybe all star movies. Well, it used to be, obviously, the prices may have went up. This hotel, well, in fact, not the hotel, this room is filthy. I'm honestly, it is absolutely filthy. It's um, there's ants on the table. There's dust over the lampshades. It's like some sort of stain there. The bathtub's That's blue. blue. Like the table outside, I went to put I went to put a drink on yesterday, and the table fell through. <laughs> and I was just like, well, that wasn't me. I uh, honestly, the door to get to the balcony, bloody hell. It's rotten. It's like you you kind of get it open. Yeah, it's rotten. It's practically opaque. Do you know, I just got off an Instagram live stream and I said, you know, I try and be positive. Everyone's always like, oh, you're dead bubbly and, and happy. S literally say on cam that I could recommend this hotel. You look on you look on booking.com and you look on the site and it looks glorious. It looks, the site itself looks lovely. Like, mm. out <laughs> outside. <laughs> outside looks lovely. The issue start when you walk in the room. Do you know what was so funny? As we were walking in, I was literally saying to Nathan, do you know... You really, you save a fortune staying off site and this is stunning, this is Disney quality until I opened that door <laughs> and we walked in. The the carpet is something from the 90s. The heater is so loud. The fridge, regular fridge, not fridge, froze my watermelon. Small thing, but I enjoy my watermelon. <laughs> I know, yeah. As well as my big Giordano's <laughs> pizza. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, we... I couldn't recommend this hotel, honestly, to anyone, honestly, and, and apologies if you've had a lovely night stay here, then honestly, it must, it could just be this room, We're, we haven't been in all the other rooms, but all I'm going to say is for the room we've stayed in, which is in block 11, something, well, it's in block 11, I don't know the room number, it is, it is filthy. I think the, the good thing about this place is that it's quite close to yeah. a lot of places, like Giordano's was literally just across the road, I mean, trying to cross the road's another story, but you know, we're yeah. British. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> that's my review. <laughs> <laughs> on the hotel. Anyway guys, on that note, we are now thankfully checking into Bay Lake Tower, which is going to be the complete opposite. So yes guys, for next week's vlog, you will see, hang on, let's just zoom out because I'm a bit zoomed in, aren't I? In next week's vlog, me and Nathan are going to Bay Lake Tower, so I'll show you all that. And then we're doing Epcot as well, which I'm so, so, so excited for. Just a quick one, if you've liked this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and on that note, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early content, daily vlogs, behind the scenes stuff, live streams, and free gifts. If you've been interested in Patreon, the link is below. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. If you've noticed my voice has sped up, it's because we are due to check out a minute ago. <laughs> so guys, on that note, I'm going to shoot. We're going to Bay Lake Tower now, and we're heading back to the Disney magic, which I'm so excited for. When I say the Disney magic, I don't mean the cruise. I mean going back to, to Disney World. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Bye